today we're going to go through how to follow up with your contacts once you've sent them emails through your participant center. You can see that I'm already logged in here and before going to a follow-up section you would have already added your contacts to your address book, you would have sent them emails to your email center and so this is an area you're going to go to to see who you need to follow up with and who you need to maybe send a thank you email to. You'll see that also when you first log in the Participant Center will display campaign status reminders to you, so it will tell you that you have three unthanked donors and that you should send them a thank you email. So for now we're going to go to the tab Follow-ups, you click this, and you'll see the system will display all the contacts that you have in your address book as well as anyone who is a donor. And so what it will do is it will display them in this chart, it will show you their email and their name, it will flag specific things that you need to do. So in this case I have a blue flag and that means I need to send a thank you email. If it was a red flag it would mean send a follow up email. It's also identified this person as a donor because there's a D beside their name. If they were a teammate of mine they'd have a T next to it. You can also see here who you've sent emails to. So you can see the date that you sent someone an email, how many times you sent it. You could see if they opened that email, you could see if they came to your page, and then you can also see when someone made a donation and the date. So for the people here who I need to send a thank you message to, I can quickly filter using this drop down message, drop down box at the top. So I'll use the field need to send thank you email. The system filters to those contacts. I can click the button email filtered contacts and the system will take me right over to my email center where I can choose the email I'd like to write. So in this case it's a thank you so I'm going to choose thank you and the system will automatically select those contacts as people that will be sent the email and I have my email at the bottom here if everything looks good and it's written the way I'd like, then I can just go ahead and send it. If I need to make any changes, I can type in here. But if, it, if it's all good to go, I could click the button Send Email Now, and it's been sent. So that covers how you would follow up with your contacts. If you needed to send an email to people who maybe hadn't responded, they hadn't opened an email or they hadn't visited your page, then you could filter by either contacts who have not donated, it would display those people, or people who you would need to, need to send a follow-up if you had that flag. And you would go through the same steps of clicking this email to filtered contacts, choosing your email, so maybe in this case you would choose follow-up, and then you could write an email to those people saying, you know, I'd really appreciate a donation from you, this is why I'm participating in this event, it's really important to me, and so on. Hope that helps, thanks.